G'day, Ben Futrell here from on3legs.com. We're going to have a quick look at uh, using the spot removal tool in Lightroom um, at a very basic level, but just so you understand how to use it to get rid of um, either dust bunnies in your pictures or things that you find annoying. So stay tuned. Alright, so here's an image that I was working on in another video that I did called uh, the Quick Lightroom 5 tutorial. And uh, if you watch that video first, you'll recognise this place. It's called uh, the, the Remarkables in Queenstown. Now before I finalise a picture, I do a couple of things um, just to get it the way I want. And Lightroom, once again, I'm just showing you how to do it in Lightroom. So you don't need to know how to use Photoshop to process your photos. Lightroom can do everything from go to woe. So some of the things that I do, there's a few annoying things over here. Uh, if we have a look over here, it looks like there's some ducks swimming around. And they're not really adding anything to the picture. Um, so I'll get rid of those. They actually look annoying in the, you know, when you're looking at the overall image. They look like some sort of specks or marks. You've got this little boy here, once again, not adding anything to the picture. Um, if we go up into the sky, you'll see I've got a dust bunny. So that's just some dust on my sensor. Another one there, oh that looks like it might even be a bird or something, but it doesn't add anything to the image. So I'm going to get rid of it. Another one there. There's another one. So you can see, and you probably suffer the same thing with your camera. So you can see more and more coming up here. And it doesn't matter, I mean I clean my sensor on a regular basis, it doesn't matter how often I do it, I end up with uh, this kind of thing happening. Um, the other thing is then I go and view in at 3 to 1, you see there's also a bit of noise in the sky. So I might want to remove some of that as well. Um, but let's focus at the moment on, that's not too bad, that's, that's at 3 to 1, at 1 to 1, at 100%. Um, I'm not gonna, actually, I'm not going to show you noise removal in this video, I'm just going to show you spot removal and we'll, we'll, we'll do a noise removal one separately, that way... Uh, I've got a whole library of videos that are very specific. All right, so let's start by having a look. So on the right-hand side over here, you've got like this, what they call um, local adjustments uh, and sort of tool. Well, tool, it's tools, you know, but they, they all do sort of local adjustments. And um, this one here is the spot removal tool, as you can see it comes up. Red eye correction. Um, Usually you're not going to have red eye if you've got a good flash or something going on. Um, the graduated filter, uh, radial filter, uh, this is like an adjustment brush, and this is the crop tool. And you can also um, rotate things as well. Alright, so I'm going to use this one here, which is the spot removal tool. By just clicking on that, you'll see my cursor now rather than being a hand to move things around has turned into like a, a, a sniper's target and it's sort of like that um, I'm just going to press command plus to zoom in just so we can see what's going on with this dust removal here and you use the square brackets on your keyboard to make your your spot removal tool bigger or smaller so I'm just pressing the left square bracket to make it smaller and all I'm going to do see that spot there I'm just going to align the the cross over the middle of that spot and I'm going to click my left mouse button. Now what what the software has done is it's found another spot nearby that it goes yeah that looks pretty similar um, that's what I'm going to use. Now if you're not happy with the spot that it picked you can actually just click on it hold down the left key and you can move around and you can see if I move it up where there's a bit of wispy cloud in the sky you can see you connect that sky. What about if I move it up here where it's darker? Let's have a look. You can clearly see that it's showing you a preview of what you can expect. Okay. So by putting it there, you can see that looks pretty good. So we'll accept that one. All right. Let's move over a bit more. We've got another one right here, which is the same thing. Doesn't need to be as big. Now, if you have a look over here, you've got, you can manipulate the size of your spots. Um, let me go down and show you. Probably best to show you these ones here. So these ones are selected at the moment. 
so I can make them bigger or smaller. I can uh, change the feathering, which you're not going to see real well on here. Um, but I like to have a large feather, which means it slowly fades out, so it's very hard to see. And then you can change the opacity um, of the spot removal tool. So depending on what it is you want, um, the, you can make all sorts of adjustments. Now let's go back to that other spot. And we'll do the same thing. So I've got my spot removal tool, put the X over the spot, left click, it's found one nearby that it likes. Are we happy with that? I can still see a bit of it. So, and that's because this opacity wasn't back at 100. So I've gone back to 100 just to remove it completely. But as you can see, if you don't have it at 100, you might leave some of it behind. And it can be quite frustrating. So I'm going to go to 100. Once again, that's done the job. I can see another one over here to the left. So let's move over there. Once again, gone. Let's just zoom out and see if we can see any others. Now things like, for example, I'm sure there's more. You can see that whilst you've got the spot removal tool in action, you can select different spots as well. So let me just zoom back in there. Just going to bring us back up into that corner where I was working. So you can see that one there right now is selected. I can change to any of the spots I want. Okay, so if I if I if I move on and I realize, oh geez, I don't like that what that's done, I can go back and fix it. You know, it's no no big problem. Um, so there's another spot there that we can see. Same thing. Now in the sky, this works really well. Um, it doesn't have any problems. Uh, sampling nearby and finding something really good. Sometimes I find if it's not, um, you know, if the scene is a bit more cluttered, it doesn't always do the same sort of a job. Uh, there's definitely one up the top there. There's one there. It's the same thing, just finding the spots, clicking on them, and you know, this is always going to be more effective. Than trying to clean your sensor yeah, um, you know in the old days of film every time you took a photo you had a fresh sensor it was called film so you can see across the sky all these little white circles now they're the spots where I've removed uh, dust bunnies that were on the sensor of the camera sky looks much better I've still got now the distracting things like the ducks and this uh... okay so this boy here not happy with it now I've zoomed in at three to one same thing select the spot removal tool and now you can sort of drag it across it if you want to and like I said before you can move this around until you're happy with the outcome I'm going to get that feather up I think feather it out a fair bit so if you don't have the feather what happens is you end up seeing a line so I'll just do that okay, so you see how you can see the line around it so what I need to do is I need to make sure this one is selected increase the feather and it sort of blurs it in if you like um, you can see there in the bottom here there's a little bit of it left because of the amount of feathering that I've done so you can sometimes just move it down a little bit like that and that'll sort of fix it just a few fine tuning adjustments so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's pretty hard to notice that was there. Um, you'll see things like this here that doesn't even look like it was anything. Might have been a duck, might not have been. Just a few pixels are going a bit funny. So any of those sort of things, I just like to get rid of. Um, just because I find them distracting. You see it gone. Um, let's have a look over here with these ducks. Let's get rid of all these ducks. It just looks like rubbish in the water. This is the environmentally friendly way to, to get rid of ducks. <laughs> now see, this duck is a bit, you know, he's a bit longer. So you can sort of, instead of just now making a dot, um, you can just 
So instead of making a dot now, you can sort of use the the tool to to go right across the duck. So it's, you just sort of go like that, you know. And it's very, you know, it's very very clever tool. It's uh, it's very good at finding that you can you can have a look. I've done that. You can you really can't notice that they were there. So if we just go back to fit. And there we go, there's the whole scene. I've removed that annoying uh, boy. The ducks that look like rubbish have gone. It's much cleaner. What about this? This doesn't add anything either. And this is a post, I think, that you know, probably says don't go too fast or something like that. Same with this pole here. And these ones get a little bit trickier because the background is going from water to sand to trees. Well, I think that's sand. It might be rocks. Um, so we will... Do the same thing, but just stop when you get to the sand. Let it do its sampling there, then sort of do a bit more there. And the idea is you want to try and make the adjustment as local as you can, so then you've got full control over that part of the adjustment. Okay, so I think the only one I've got a bit of a problem with is this one here, and that's probably because... Um, I'm just going to move that one up a bit. I'm going to move that one down a bit just to sort of get them to merge together. Turn those tools off. And by getting nice and close, um, I haven't got it entirely perfect. This one needs to come down a bit. And across this way a bit. And you can see it's very, you know, the the tool itself makes life pretty easy so it's pretty messy there at the moment so we need to keep working on it that's this one here now done something funny so I'll just move that back up a bit and it might be that i have to if i'm not happy with something for example so this one here for example, i'm not happy with so i just press the delete button and it goes into a puff of smoke which means i can then have another shot at it so here we go this time i'm going to make it a bit bigger the problem is i didn't make it big enough that's better. This one here, I'm also not happy with. Deleted, puff of smoke, and same thing. I just need to make it bigger. So there we go. What pole? You can I mean, it's, it's. You would never know that I've done that unless you saw me do it. Um, and it does. It just adds to the photo, I believe. Makes it look that little bit more complete. Um, and there's a stack of those poles here. I'm not going to do them all. Um, you know, I'd probably get, I, I would get rid of that one. I'd get rid of that one. I'd probably get rid of those rocks there. They crappy out those rocks because it's not adding anything. Um, these white masks up here, I would probably get rid of. So just totally clean it up. So there you go. There's how to use the spot removal tool in uh, Lightroom 5. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, a good way, you know, you don't have to panic about dust bunnies in your sensor anymore. Just remove them. Cheers. <laughs>